Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Making these East Austin firefighters working Christmas a little brighter. <laughs> we see the same guys, you know, year after year. Um, we see new faces. Uh, and But the smiles are still the same. Mm. That's one of many ways Jay and Melanie Holtz remember their son, Matt Ariano. Those are our memories because we don't get new memories otherwise. Matt died in 2014 at age 23 to make sure his name isn't forgotten. If you don't mention a person who's passed away, if you don't mention them by name, it's like they've died twice. The Holtz also started decorating a tree on Loop 360, but this year... The next thing you know, I'm like, okay, I didn't have that red light, so I wasn't able to stop. I'm like, are his ornaments gone? The family later found out Kellen Burke took those decorations along with other trees ornaments. When I see trash in the watershed, when I see trash on the Greenbelt, when I see trash in Bull Creek, it breaks my heart. He sent a Facebook message to Melanie. Never really understood why it's allowed in the first place. Um, to me, you know, one piece of litter is a piece of litter that shouldn't be there. This area is owned by the state, so when we reached out to the Department of Transportation, they told us in the past they have gotten complaints about litter from the trees, but not to the point where they had to draw the line and intervene. They said they rely on people to come back after the holidays to pick up the decorations. The Holtz told us they use wire twist ties to secure the ornaments. Burke promised he won't take their decorations down again this year. A concern for litter for some, a heartfelt memorial for others. Does Christmas get any easier at all? Yeah. Now we just kind of ignore Christmas. Yeah. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. And when we checked with Texas Parks and Wildlife, the department says the ornaments haven't been much of a concern for wildlife. No matter what your view, every year there is a big effort by Austinites to help take down these decorations. The group Keep Austin Beautiful sponsors a volunteer cleanup day. This year's cleanup event will be Saturday morning, January 5th. We have a link to the volunteer sign up with our story at KXAN.com.